Hey everybody, John Wagnon here. I uh, just published an article on Dev Central talking about uh, Big IP GTM, the Global Traffic Manager, and DNS Express, and how you can transfer zones to DNS Express from your backend DNS servers. DNS Express is like super fast. It can answer your DNS queries much much faster, and frankly, it's less vulnerable because it doesn't run full bind, and so the vulnerabilities associated with bind are not are not all there on the DNS Express module. So I wanted to kind of walk you through real quick how to set this up on the Big IP and uh, and then show how we can uh, transfer zone records uh, to the DNS Express module. So the first thing you need to do is provision GTM. So you come over here to System, Resource Provisioning, and click GTM. I've already done that because if it's not provisioned and you provision it and hit Submit, then it restarts your Big IP and just takes a little bit. So anyway, so you do that. Um, and it needs to be licensed as well. So keep in mind uh, that if it's not licensed, it needs to be. And and this is a quick plug as well for our new licensing model, uh, good, better, best. And so if you get if you get the best um, option, for example, then you get everything that the Big IP has to offer, like all these modules. So it's really cool stuff. Saves you a lot of time, saves you a lot of money, and um, and it's just it it really is a lot simpler than it used to be. So Talk to your salesperson if you're not familiar with good, better, best. Uh, okay, so once we've got GTM provisioned, then I'm going to go up here and show you my self IP. It's 10.128.10.240 on my external VLAN. And I'm going to use this as the listener address when I uh, create a, a, a global traffic listener. You typically would not do this, uh, you know, have a self IP as your listener. But in my lab setup here, uh, that's, that's how I'm going to set it up. So to create a listener, you go up here, you can either click that little plus sign or click create. And I'm going to use the same IP I just talked about, 10.128.10.240. Um, everything else I'm going to leave the same. Notice the uh, profile is the DNS profile. And I'll say finished. And it's that easy. So now the, um, the listener is created. I'm going to go down here to local traffic profiles and show you um, the DNS profile that, that we just had listed in there with the listener and click on this and show you that DNS Express is enabled. So certainly if you want to use DNS Express, then make sure it is enabled and it is enabled by default. Um, but anyway, make sure it's enabled whenever you're creating your listener. You can see all this other stuff you can uh, you can enable as well. DNS sec, IPv6, you know, six to four translation, all that kind of stuff. So uh, anyway, that's the DNS profile. You can create your own profile, your custom profile, whatever, but I just use this one because it has DNS Express already enabled. Okay, so once I've got the listener created, then uh, then I'm going to go down here to Zone Runner um, on the G. I'm going to go back to the GTM uh, Global Traffic Zone Runner, and I'm going to uh, create a zone. So go to Zone List up here, the list of zones, and I'm going to create a new zone. So I'm going to look at the external view. I'm going to call this zone name DNS test.com. It's going to uh, be a master server and the, the records creation method, by the way, you can do it manually or you can load it up from a file or you can transfer it from another server. So a lot of options there. Uh, notice that it, it auto populates the, uh, the zone file name, which is kind of cool. Um, this allow update local host. This allows me to transfer from the, um, the GTM bind over to the uh, DNS Express, so that's uh, that's an important um, thing to have in there. Okay, and then this is where we create the start of authority, the name, server, record, details. So time to live on SOA. Uh, I'll say 500. The master server. I'll call it big, big IP one. You can call it, you can do whatever you want. Obviously on here, it auto populates email contacts. You can put whatever you want in there though. Refresh interval. All these things are already auto-populated. You can change all of them. Uh, they're in they're in seconds right now, but look, you can put minutes, hours, days, or weeks. Uh, so again, just a lot of flexibility here. Uh, time to live for name server. I'll do the same, and I'll call it Big IP One as well. Um, okay, A record IP address. I'm gonna use the same that I just used for the uh, listener. 10, 128, 10, and click finish. So now my zone is created and I am going to go to resource record list and create a couple of records on this. Um, 
under dnstest.com and I'm going to create. So it's uh, external view, zone name is that, dnstest.com. I'm going to create a couple of A records or address records. So the first I'm going to say www.dnstest.com, time to live, uh, let's say 30 seconds. IP address, I'm just going to make up 1.1.1.1. Here's another cool thing if you need to create some A records, instead of hitting finished and then recreate and all that, you can just hit repeat. And it just created that first one, and I'm simply going to change this to FTP, dnstest.com. Time to live is the same, still an A record, and I'll change the IP address to 1112. And that's all I'm going to create right now, so I'll say finished. And now we can uh, go back into our zone list. There's our dnstest.com. Notice it auto created that one as well. And resource records. Um, you can see that they're both in here. A records, time to live, IPs, the whole nine yards. So you can see all that stuff. Okay, so now that we have that, I am going to pull in another window here and we're gonna use the dig tool. So dig at that listener address and say, um, uh, let's see, www.dnstest.com. I'm going to say plus no recurse. And let's see what it says. And so you can see it answered here with authority, and it shows us all the uh, the records. And keep in mind, this is not uh, this has not been transferred to DNS Express yet. So this is kind of a show to you know to make sure that that all these uh, records have been created correctly. And I could do the same thing if I did the uh, FTP. So I'll just do that real quick as well. And you can see here the IP, all the, everything's there that we just uh, configured. So I will move that out of the way. And um, so the zone looks like it's been created correctly. There's uh, resource records in it. And now we want to create our DNS Express zone. So DNS Express zone list, create, and it's really easy. The, uh, the best uh, best practice here is to use um, the uh, essentially the same name, the apex of the uh, um, of the bind uh, here is, as the name. It's got to start with a letter. It can create or it can uh, it can contain letters, numbers, and underscore characters uh, for the name of this DNS Express zone. So I'm going to leave everything else as is. This is the uh, the the address. Uh, for the GTM bind, and so anyway, so it's it's all it's all configured the way that we need it to be right now. So finish. So now we have our DNS test.com um, express zone, and notice the status. We got a little green light or a green ball there uh, to show that it is created correctly, and it should have already done a transfer actually. Um, which, by the way, let me. Um, let me show you this really quick as well. So in this named configuration file, I'm going to go down here and show you this allow transfer localhost. I think I mentioned that a minute ago, but that that's what allows you, or that's what allows me just now to uh, uh, to transfer uh, the the zone records. If you are hosting the uh, zones external to the F5 device or external to the big IP, then you've got to add some more um, code, and I go I go over that specific code in the uh, in the article that I wrote, so you can check that out. Okay, so really quick, I am going to pull up this uh, this putty window here, where I'm in the this is the command line for the big IP, and I'm going to show you if we do a DNS x dump, you're going to notice that the DNS Express database has everything that we just uh, created, which is really cool. So now everything's been transferred over to the um, DNS Express module. And we can also, I'll do a, I'll do a, a tail, uh, follow the var um, log LTM. And you'll notice that there's a couple other things that I was working with earlier, but you'll notice down here that the uh, zone transfer succeeded. So anyway, the um, so that's that's all I was going to show right there. Okay, so that's just a quick uh, quick overview of GTM, how to provision it, how to set up a listener, 
and how to create a zone, how to create a DNS Express um, a zone as well, and how to transfer the zone over to DNS Express. So uh, really cool stuff, really powerful module there with DNS Express. Uh, I'll go over more in coming articles, so uh, so stay tuned. We'll talk about maybe some iRules and uh, some other really cool things you can do with GTM and, and uh, DNS Express and, and all of that. So thanks for listening, and uh, we will see you out there in the community on DevCentral. Have a great one.